after fertilization occurs, the next step is sex determination. Early on in development, the embryo has primitive gonads that could either become ovaries or testes. Whether or not they become ovaries or testes is determined by a gene located on the Y chromosome. The gene is called the SRY gene. SRY stands for Sex Determining Region of the Y chromosome. This SRY gene codes for a protein called testis determining factor. When the embryo inherits the Y chromosome, and therefore the SRY gene, this gene causes the primitive gonads to develop into testes. If the embryo does not inherit the Y chromosome, and therefore the SRY gene, the primitive gonads develop into ovaries. Sex determination is therefore based off the presence or the absence of a Y chromosome and the SRY gene. Sex determination sets the stage for sex differentiation. Early on in development, the embryo possesses both rudimentary male structures called Wolfian ducts and female rudimentary structures called Mullerian ducts. Whether the sex structures develop into male or female is dependent on the presence or absence of two hormones. These hormones are called testosterone and Mullerian inhibiting substance, abbreviated MIS, and are produced by the testes. Testosterone will act on the Wolfian ducts to promote the development of male reproductive structures. MIS will act on Mullerian ducts, preventing the development of female organs. Thus, the presence of testosterone, or MIS, will cause the fetus to develop into a male. Now let's look at this from a different angle. If testosterone is absent, this will prevent the Wolfian ducts from developing into male reproductive structures. Furthermore, if MIS is absent, this will stimulate the Mullerian ducts to promote female reproductive structures. Thus, the absence of either testosterone or MIS will cause the fetus to develop into a female.